What's going on guys, Chad here, and welcome to beautiful Shreveport, Louisiana. It's, uh, you know, it's humid, it's hot, but we're out here to have some fun, man. I'm excited, we are at Red River Range, and the place is absolutely gorgeous, man. In this area, you do not find ranges like this. So a quick summary of the place, they've got three different shooting bays. Uh, they've got one that's really dedicated to the history of Shreveport, one that's dedicated to the first responders and the heroes of the area. Uh, they've got badges up, they've got pictures up, it's really cool. They've also got a three lane, 100 yard indoor range. So we're absolutely gonna be shooting in there. And then on the exterior, they've got an archery range and a bass fishing pond. So really, really cool area. They've got a lounge, so really it's, it's inclusive for the entire family. And uh, I'm excited to go in there, check this place out and shoot some guns. Let's do it. Here we are at Red River Range. And just look at this space, man. You can tell they put a lot of effort into making this space something they can be proud of, and I think it looks fantastic. So uh, I wanna go shoot some guns. Like I said, they've got three bays. They've got 19 different shooting lanes. Three of those are 100 yarders. And uh, before we get into that 100 yard though, I wanna go shoot something really cool. They've got a really big rental wall. So let's see what they got cooking. What's up? So tell me about this this rental selection you've got here. Okay. So we have almost 70 rentals here. Um, we have anywhere from your basic handguns to fully automatics. So what are you in the mood for? <laughs> I mean, listen, I want to shoot something I've never shot before. I want to shoot something that shoots fast and is fun. You tell me what to shoot. Okay, well, let's suggest, how about this Tommy gun? A Tommy gun? I mean... Yeah, how do you say no to a Tommy gun? Let's do it. All right, so we are shooting the Tommy gun. I'm gonna try a couple at semi first, see how this thing feels. Okay. Let's pop this thing over to full. Get a good lean in. Gotta love that feeling, man. That thing shoots cool. I like that a lot. All right, here's how we ended up. That recoil did push me a little bit, but uh, listen, man, I think I got some shots on target. How'd it feel? Woo. So we're in the first bay, Heritage Alley, and just look at how beautiful this is. They've set up all this beautiful reclaimed wood from an old tobacco place in North Carolina. Um, and then on all of the stalls, they've actually paid tribute to the heritage, to the history of Louisiana. We've got things like Elvis, we've got Herbie K, we've got some of the jockeys, lots of really, really cool history in here, and uh, you can feel it. They've got all the high-end touches in here. You know, they've got your touch screen, they've got the automated retrievers and stuff like that. But what I'm really impressed by is uh, the air circulation in here done by rushing. It's really cool. So up here in the ceiling, they're actually spaced a very specific amount uh, so that they can send in fresh air and keep everything circulating really, really well. You can't smell any lead, you know, it's not, it doesn't have that dirty, like old range feeling. It just feels very clean in here. And uh, man, you really feel the warmth from all of the wood and the design aesthetic. I'm loving it. Tommy gun was dope. I'm gonna grab a handgun and hit the next range bay. I think uh, our buddy here, Val's got something cool for us. What are we looking at, dude? So I have got the Maxim 9. It is an integrally suppressed pistol. And uh, I take it, man, there probably aren't a lot of indoor ranges in Louisiana where you can rent stuff like this, right? Suppressed items? Some will do suppressed items. The Maxim is gonna be more of an exotic. There are less of them out there at facilities to be utilized, yes. Dope, let's do it. The man himself lent me his personal carry, so we're gonna try out a couple rounds for this thing. 
I like that big flared magwell. Got an upgraded trigger in there. Oh, that feels good. Yeah, that one feels that one feels more like at home right there. All right, so this is the second beautiful bay here. This one's called Heroes Corner. It's really dope. As you can see on the stalls, they're paying homage to all the local heroes around here. They've got, you know, sheriffs, law enforcement, military. They've got all sorts of insignia up here. They've also got a wall of badges dedicated to all these heroes, and it's just a really cool vibe. Once again, they're, they're keeping that continuity of the beautiful reclaimed wood throughout the steel. The rushing air is just keeping everything really breathable in here, and it feels Fantastic. I love how you can control everything from those touch panels, how you can adjust your lighting, you can have your police lights, your target lights, whatever, and really set the mood. Uh, and if they're doing trainings or something like that, you know, they can really set this place up. All right, so one thing that we can do is we can control everything for either low or, or no light scenarios, just like you had mentioned. So we can pretty much kill the bay in sections. We can go from the rear forward, so I can take trap stalls out, I can do center lights, I can take everything out. And you can see right now, I've got some of my lights on right now, just so we can run through some of the strobe features. But I mean, I can pretty much run this however we want, based on whatever training scenario that we want to run. If I run all the lights out, I can go straight to the manual control booth. And from manual control, I can select everything here, where I can send targets down, I can run them in cycles. If I run them in cycles, they run out. So here we go and they'll actually turn face and then you get different settings. It's go or no go targeting. So you can see it faces me and turns on. So that's a no shoot when it's, when it's white paper and then when it gives you your actual target, you'd actually be shooting. So still no shoot. Boom, shoot, 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 shoot. Fantastic range. I got to shoot those fun three guns and I got to say out of the, the three that I shot, it's still the 509, man. I got to give it up to the 509. So uh, anyways, let's go shoot some rifles. What are you shooting right now? A, a 1918 is what I'm told. A2 BAR. Yep, a 43, 44 production year, all original. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> Kara is like not really a shooter. <laughs> we convinced her to shoot this thing and it's going to be awesome, man. I'm a, she's going to have the biggest smile on her face after. Let's oh my go! God, Holy cow! How was that? That was impressive. That was amazing. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to do that again. <laughs> <laughs> So the third and final bay here is what they call Sportsman's Paradise. It actually says that on Louisiana license plates, which is really dope. But it's a, it's got kind of a wildlife theme. They've kept the reclaimed wood and, and just kind of that whole vibe throughout. But what's really cool about this is number one, obviously it's 100 yards. That's, that's huge for an indoor range. But number two, they took the time to think through their stalls. So they made the stalls much, much wider and they made the tables ambidextrous. So that means you can sit up there with your rifle this way, or if you're left-handed, you've got room for your bags and things like that so that you're not scrunched in there trying to fit you and a bag and a rifle in there so that's a really cool feature and then on top of that is they actually have a camera at the very end of the hundred yards uh, and then you have a monitor at your station so you can see a close-up of your target all the way down at 100 yards so you can sight in your rifle extremely easily you don't have to have someone else there with a spotting scope and going back and forth and this kind of a thing it gives you just your, your monitor right there you can see exactly where you hit make all your fine-tune adjustments and uh, yeah, it's a really, really slick setup for a 100-yard indoor range, man. Yo, Christelle. Hey. Can I shoot this thing? Sure thing. Let's do it. <laughs> Look at all these guys. We're ready to shoot, man. All right, so these guys hooked it up. We're on their 100-yard indoor bay, and we shoot in the 50, baby. Let's do this. Sending it. That was awesome. Hot brass. So one of the really nice things about this range is they try to really cater to everyone in the family. 
So while one person's maybe in the shooting bays, someone else can be in here in the lounge, taking in a TV show, a magazine, eating some snacks, just kind of hanging out. And then they've also got an archery range and a fishing pond outside. So uh, something kind of for everyone in the family to be able to do. And I'm hoping we get to go check some of those out right now. All right, we just made it out to the archery bay and uh, it looks really dope. Can you tell me a little about what we've got going on? Hey, okay, so we have three different lanes. They're set to 20, 30, and 40. The 40 is set for crossbows and the other two, you can shoot your standard compound bows. Dope. All right, are you gonna shoot for us today? I sure am. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it, man. It was an absolute blast. Big, big shout out to Red River Range here in Shreveport, Louisiana for having me out. So if you're in the market for a new concealed carry or whatever, you can try out all their guns. If you wanna try something that's more exotic, like that BAR, like that 50, you can come in here and shoot those as well. Get kind of a once in a lifetime bucket list experience. And uh, you know, just enjoying the atmosphere, enjoying that reclaimed wood, that fresh air smell in the ranges. And uh, it's just a good feeling spot, man. Somewhere for the entire family to hang out. You've got the lounge area, you've got the archery range, the fishing pond. I really enjoyed my time. If you were local to the area, absolutely stop in. If you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button. Share this video with someone who might get a kick out of it. And uh, if you were down for the ride, you know the drill. Hit that subscribe. So thanks so much. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.